Hey, you know what, guys? I think today we might have figured out uh, what makes Las Vegas so great and uh, why they tested this uh, new aero package last at the beginning of last year at Las Vegas. Uh, that was a pretty nice race. Probably the best race at Las Vegas since last year's races at Las Vegas. Uh, I think this package really suits these kinds of places as we've come to expect. But man, if you had a favorite in this race, they probably wrecked out or had some kind of problem before it was all said and done. So in a race that we expected Kevin Harvick to be the dominant factor, he was nowhere to be seen really uh, at the end of it. And Chase Elliott was able to dominate the first and second, I think, I don't remember who won stage one exactly, but I know Chase Elliott won stage two. And um, yeah, Chase Elliott was able to pass Kevin Harvick under his own power. That's something we've been waiting to see and that we fixed the problems uh, of 2018 where people were able to just stay out the entire race, win both stages, win the whole thing. <clears throat> but, you know, uh, of course, there are some problems with the 2019 error package that will uh, have to be settled out in 2021 with the new car. Uh, can't keep fixing problems with problems. Uh, there, there, there were still problems in today's race. Uh, at the end, uh, William Byron was in a position to win the race, and he got a little tire rub with somebody else. And uh, in, a, in a series where you're supposed to be be able to bump and bang, you know, uh, it doesn't, it's not a good look whenever, uh, you can't take a little bump and bang it without a tire rub. Uh, that was also said for Martin Truex Jr. Um, he was doing well until he, uh, scraped the wall just a little bit and it was just enough to send him to pit road. And we almost had another scenario of too many men over the wall, but it didn't happen this time with Martin Truex Jr. They had a guy, Mar uh, Martin Truex Jr.'s uh, pit crew go all the way over the wall. And they're like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, buddy. And he's already he's already got the tire and everything and they're pulling him by his britches. And <laughs> it's a good thing they're wearing belts, you guys, because uh, we could have could have been moomed on live television only in a NASCAR broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, a lot of guys having great days today that don't don't we don't normally get to see have good days. Jimmy Johnson, Chase Elliott, you know, we've been seeing Chase Elliott have good days, but I was skeptical I was skeptical about Hendrick Motorsports and how they're going to do uh once we get to the mile and a half in 2020. Jimmy Johnson showed up today, stayed in the top 5. I think he got I think he finished 6. I don't know exactly. I'm just giving my initial reactions after the race. Um Doing it Rusty Walrus style. I let him know before I did it, uh, just so uh, he could have a heads up that I, I'm not I'm not copying. I'm just imitating my heroes. Uh, Matt De Benedetto, P2, and Bubba Wallace, P4. Really nice day for those guys. And man, Matt De Benedetto, he he's bring, he's gonna bring the Wood Brothers to new heights this year. I can just feel it. Uh, I think mile and a half may be their strong point. I know I can't wait to see him at Bristol, the Food City 500. I won't be there, but I, you know, I'm I'm waiting to see it how he does back at Bristol, but with even better equipment. Uh, so Martin Truex Jr. had a falling out. Uh, John Hunter Nemechek spun on, uh, by himself, but then came back and finished pretty well. That was kind of weird. Uh, Ross Chastain filling in for Ryan Newman. Um, he spun there at the end, but man, he was doing pretty well. I had him in my garage for the fantasy picks this week. But man, overall, just a great race, regardless who won. I know Joey Logano won. A lot of people don't like that. A lot of people do. Uh, I'm pretty indifferent about it if we get a race like that. You know, you can say what you want about the package, but for what we've got at the track we're at, that was a pretty dang good race. And I'm. It's just another proud day to be a, uh, a NASCAR supporter and uh, really looking forward to uh, the, the rest of the mile and a half tracks after we saw what happened today. So uh, I'm about to go watch the Xfinity race on FS2, which you can do that right now if you uh, change over, if you go onto the Fox Sports app and you uh, sign in with your FS1 credentials. So I think that's pretty cool that they're doing that for people who don't normally have access to FS2. 
So what'd you guys think about the Las Vegas race today? Uh, please let me know in the comments and please, if you like this video, be sure you like it. And uh, why not subscribe to and join the Crossland crew? Putting out stuff all the time now. I can't wait to get this channel into full force for 2020. A lot of great stuff coming up and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what I can do. So uh, I'll catch you guys next time. So until the next, I'll have an iRacing video coming up this week as well as Get Bumped podcast. We'll be talking all about Las Vegas and our predictions for Auto Club. So until next time, this is Brandon Crossland and thanks for listening.